Welcome back guys. We are going to talk about what sold this week. Thank you for joining me. If you happen to like the video, uh, please make sure that you hit that little like button and the subscribe. Okay, so we are going to uh, get started with what sold this week and I do have my own little notes here. One really cool thing that sold was a shining uh, laser disc DVD, not laser disc DVD, but it's like a laser disc. They're huge. They're bigger than uh, records. They're giant. Anyway, so um, I was able to sell one of those. I sold one uh, the week before last too, but these get me excited because we've had them for so long. We had them and we totally forgot that we had them. I think my husband paid like a dollar ninety nine for them, and um, the one that sold this week, of course, is a shining and it's a, a two two of the giant laser disc set, and it sold for forty dollars. Okay, so next was the GI Joe. Do y'all remember that GI Joe that I uh, picked up? Anyway, I, I talked about it last week, and we paid um, two dollars for that. It sold this week, and it sold for um, $59.95. So next, do y'all remember the um, the Garfield haul that I did? Anyway, I bought the whole Garfield lot. Like I paid $30 for all of this um, Garfield, and, um, and it was Care Bears, I think, were thrown in there too. And so I paid $30 for the whole entire thing. I got a bundle deal for it, and um, the Garfield and Odie little um, clips, little clip set, they sold this week, and they sold for $17.50. So I thought that was a pretty good return on these like little vintage uh, little clips. Um, when I was a kid, I think we used to like put them on our pencils. You'd like squeeze the back of them and their little arms would open up. Anyway, okay, <laughs> so the next is um, the little Care Bear magnets. I sold two and I got $10 for all three of them. And they're just little vintage uh, little uh, like magnets. Um, also too, from a previous video, so having you watched, you need to go back and watch it. I have a Picasso. And yes, it was a real Picasso, and uh, we picked it up. And it happened to be, I think it was called Hands and Flowers, and so it wasn't like uh, an obscure Picasso that would have been worth like thousands of dollars. This one was just like one that's um, fairly common, and it did have some damage to it. But I picked it up for $5, and somebody offered me 100 and I took it. So I thought that was a pretty good return on, um, on that Picasso. And we're going to move through these fairly quickly, um, just because, you know, I figured you guys would like me to be kind of quick about them. <laughs> not, be, not be wasting your time. This um, particular garage sale, um, they had a box of My Little Ponies. And I told my husband, I said, I think these are first generation My Little Ponies. Now, I don't know anything about My Little Ponies or the little, you know, the little cult following that they have. Um, I, I don't know anything about them. But I was like, you know, I think these are first generation My Little Ponies. The whole box for $2. So I was like, well, for two bucks, I mean, I can't go wrong anyway for two dollars. So I picked it up, I get home, and I list, um, I start listing them, and before I'm done finishing the last uh, pony to list, the first one that I posted sold. And so that was shocking to me. I mean, it just happened like that. So that little My Little Pony was, um, I believe it was like a 10th anniversary birthday edition, My Little Pony, and anyway, it sold for $30. Um, and these My Little Ponies, let me, let me explain something to you. They were not in good condition. They had like um, little kids where they'd been like chewing on the ears and chewing on like the the um, the snouts and chewing on the hooves. So these My Little Ponies were, I mean, they're they're used and 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 very used because some kid was like chewing on them and I got 30 bucks for it. So as long as you're in your descriptions being very descriptive and telling people exactly what they look like and then of course you're really good pictures so that they can see. Um, I find that customers are, are happy whenever they, you know, if they know what to expect rather than them getting it and being surprised then that's a whole different can of worms. All right, so next is, do you guys remember that, um, I think it was called, it was a hoodie and it was by like a vintage skateboard company called Shorties. And in the video, I think I show um, how the, the sweatshirt, the sleeves on it are just, oh my gosh, I mean, they're like ripped and tattered and I mean, it's just, this thing's just barely holding on. And I make sure I described it exactly how it was. I took really, really good pictures. Anyway, it sold this week and it sold for $51 and I believe 95 cents, I'm not real sure, but $51 and I'll make sure that I post it up here. Um, 
Now, oh, and so for that particular shorties uh, sweatshirt, we bought that one at Goodwill and we picked it up for six bucks. So, moving right along. Oh, so in the last video that I did, I know that I showed you guys, or the video before last, I showed you guys the vans, the red checker vans that I picked up um, at this garage sale for $3. They had $3 on them, I brought them home, I cleaned them up. And anyway, I list them, they sold this week, and they sold for um, uh, $25.95. And of course, I'll put that there so you can take a look at that. Vans do fairly well. Now it is, uh, what I find works best for vans is like the vintage vans seem to do really, really well, or the newer vans if they're in really good condition. The in-between ones kind of linger a little bit longer. And then of course, it matters the size. It seems like bigger sizes sell faster than the smaller sizes, so keep that in mind too. Um, and next, now, whenever we went to that one cell I was telling you about with the whole uh, uh, Garfield and um, and the Care Bears, this uh, was a, like a huge lot. They had this old vintage phone and it was marble and it was super heavy. I want to say it was almost like seven pounds. It was heavy, heavy, heavy. Anyway, so we get it home and I think um, through the bundle and everything, I think I paid like maybe um, $10 for it. So um, I get it home, I get it listed. Anyway, I got an offer for it for $100. I took it. Um, if the offers are reasonable, I take it. I probably could have um, held off a little bit and got a little bit more, but hey, I'm only invested in $10. The guy wants to offer me $100, sold. So next is the, um, the Garfield uh, juice glasses. So the Garfield juice glasses, um, of course they came with that bundle and um, they had like slurp on them and they're super cute. I kind of thought about keeping them for myself. But um, anyway, they sold for $25, got an offer again, got an offer and $25, that to me is reasonable, sold, <laughs> so I sold it. So now with this sale and of course the other one, I'm already in the green for what I actually paid for all this huge bundle of Garfield stuff and I still have tons of Garfield stuff left over. If you're interested in Garfield, check out my uh, my eBay store. I'll post a link underneath so you can take a look. So, but I do, I have a ton. <laughs> so, um, next is gonna be um, trucker hats. I know that in several of my videos I'm always talking about trucker hats, but in the last video in particular I was talking about a big box of trucker hats that my husband picked up. I believe he paid Oh, what was it like five bucks for the whole big box it was just ridiculous anyway um, we end up selling several of those trucker hats and I'll post them here so you can see um, but uh, one of them we sold for $14.95 the next one uh, we sold for another $14.95 and um, there was like a uh, oh it was like a Detroit hat let me see I'm gonna check my list real quick um, no, it was John Deere. So there was a John Deere hat at the bottom of that, um, at that bottom of that uh, box, and that one sold for thirty nine ninety five. John Deere is just strange to me because some of the John Deeres will sell for like, you know, like this one did for forty bucks, and then others won't sell for more than you know fourteen ninety five. So that's a pretty big gap when you're dealing with um, with trucker hats. Um, and then I've seen because I've gone and looked on eBay. Um, and I've seen others sell for upwards of 60 bucks or more. So, you know, trucker hats are kind of strange on how, um, on what people are looking for. And as I go and learn, I'll be sure and share with you guys what I'm finding out. What I am learning is that it doesn't matter what condition the hat is in, as long as it's something that, um, a desirable item. So we had a trucker hat that sold last week and I already put it in the last video, so I didn't include it in this one. But the inside of it was all like coming apart and flaking off, and it was in the description, you know, described as is, you know, this is because it's so old, it's falling apart on the inside, and they ended up buying it and paying uh, quite a bit for it. So I was just like, wow, you know, it, I guess it really just depends on, you know, what the person is looking for. So I will let you guys know something that I thought was really, really, um, funny um, going to these garage sales and I know that I talked about it um, before in my videos is that if you end up coming to a garage sale later in the day and not necessarily that we plan it that way but we'll start on one side of town and so by the time we get to the next side of town it's noon okay and here in where we are in our location in Kansas everything shuts down at noon 
So they're not going over to two o'clock or three o'clock, you know, like when we lived in Texas and I would have a garage sale, I'd stay open until 6.30, 7 o'clock at night just because people were coming all day long. But here, noon, they're done. They're done, they're putting everything in the trash, it's over. So on the one from this week, we're, you know, leaving the garage sale and they're, they have, you know, all these boxes of free, you know, we don't want to put it up, free, free, take it, free. So anyway, I picked up a, um, and this has been a couple of weeks ago, um, and then of course this weekend too, same thing happened, but a couple of weeks ago I picked up a Stephen King, um, I think it was Thinner, Thinner book. The lady was just like, I don't feel like messing with it anymore, just take it, it's free. And so I did, I brought it home, and it wasn't in the great, greatest condition, by the picture you can see, it was just not in good condition at all is I put acceptable because it's acceptable I mean you can still read it but it's, it's in pretty tattered condition and somebody still paid three dollars and fifty cents so for me it was free the uh, the buyer paid shipping and so you know hey that's just uh, a couple of more uh, dollars in my pocket so it makes me happy <laughs> all right oh you guys remember me talking about Phineas and Ferb the, the plushes that I got. Okay, so this one I thought was super super cool. They sold and they sold really really quick They sold within the first week and um, These dolls I had two dollars invested in them because it was 50 cents a piece and it was uh, Phineas Ferb, Candace and per uh, Perry, Perry the Platypus and um, Anyway, I had two dollars fifty cents a piece and they sold for fifty nine dollars and ninety five cents Yes, yeah, I got an offer for that. So um I was was really excited so you know of course now I'm on the lookout every time I can go to a garage sale I'm looking for uh, little characters um, to buy so we'll see how it goes all right um, next is oh y'all remember that old giddy-up doll that I was talking about it was like a super old old giddy-up doll it was um, like French and um, I guess there was like a cartoon about it or something, but anyway, I ended up posting that, um, getting that on, on eBay, and it sold. I paid, um, I believe, $2 for it, and it sold for um, 20 bucks. I got an offer for 20 bucks. I took it, and um, and it was, the, the doll itself was dirty. It had been in storage for a really, really long time. Even when I got it, it was super dirty. Um, when I got it home, of course, I cleaned it up and kind of dusted it the best I could, but the doll itself still had like dirt and dust all over it, and it did need to be cleaned but anyway it sold for twenty dollars now again from that same Care Bear and um, in Garfield lot picked up these Care Bear cups there was several of them and um, again I kind of thought about keeping them for myself because that's you know nostalgic for me because that's my generation um, and of course these were from the early um, early 80s and um, anyway they end up selling for forty nine dollars and ninety five cents so now, of course, like I was telling earlier, that other two and a half paid for the original lot, right? So now this one and the last one is all profit on top of that. So make those bundle deals. Like go up to them with your, you know, and ask them. When you go to a garage sale, ask them. Say, hey, can I make, um, can I can I start me a pile here? And then whenever I'm done with my pile, can you make me a little bit of a better deal just because I'm buying so much? Most of the time, people will say, sure, yes because they don't want to put it up. That's why they're having a garage sale anyway. They're trying to get rid of stuff. They're not trying to keep it. So if you just ask, nine times out of 10, they'll be, um, they'll, they're willing to work with you. Or so, you know, I have found. Um, and I'm kind of oddball -y whenever I'm talking to people um, in person, because I'm just kind of odd and awkward anyway. <laughs> and this weekend, I was talking to a lady and she asked me, would, would you be willing to um, pay, you know, this amount for this item? And just, I, it didn't even, <laughs> it was like there was no filter or nothing. I just go, no, I would not pay that. <laughs> and anyway, my husband was like, oh my God, I can't believe you said that. But I didn't mean it like, and I know, poor lady, she probably just thinks, that lady was so rude. I wasn't trying to be rude. It just, it just kind of came out that way because I was thinking it. No, I wouldn't pay that. And a lot of times it just goes straight. Um, to my mouth and um, anyway and she was like oh well would you take five and my husband was like yes we'll take five <laughs> anyway I felt real bad because um because I didn't mean to 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 um say that and, and it just sounded hateful <laughs> and I did not mean it that way um oh 
So we had gone to, um, in our little small town, we, we frequent Goodwill. So um, whenever we walk in, they know us by name. They know who we are. And we happened to um, go into the Goodwill a couple of weeks ago. And remember, um, anytime I see electronics or my husband see electronics, we, I mean, we just like clamored. We can't get there fast enough. Um, and so anyway, we happened to see this old um, electronic, uh, like a telewriter. And it still had all the paperwork in it. It was like practically brand new, still had the little ink cartridges in it and everything. Anyway, we picked it up. It was $7.99 and it sold, I want to say almost immediately. Almost immediately. He put it on and we came and sat down and his phone dinged that it had sold. Anyway, it sold for, um, I believe it sold for $75. I could be wrong, but I believe it sold for $75. And, um, we were just shocked because honestly I didn't think it would sell for $75 I thought oh you know maybe 50 but 75 yeah, that's pretty good pretty good okay so you guys remember me talking about that garage sale where um, the husband and wife had been fighting and so they were just over it and um, anyway we happened to walk up right as they were um, ending their little um, discussion <laughs> And um, anyway, so the wife was just like, oh, just she was super sweet too, poor thing. Um, and she was just like, oh, um, we're, we're closing everything down. We're fixing to haul all this stuff to Goodwill. So you guys can just go through and just take whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> so I started digging and going through anyway. Um, I believe that I told you guys about this North Face jacket. Anyway, it sold this week and it sold for um, $38. And, um, of course, that was free, so $38 is $38, and uh, it was in really, really good condition. It was, um, I would have kept it myself, except it was like a teeny tiny size. It was like extra small or something, and that wouldn't even fit on my arm, so anyway. All right, so now, honorable mentions. This little part is for, um, for two reasons. Don't ever pass up the free boxes that people put by the street okay just don't do it always look through them oh even if you just do a, a quick little glance you never know what you're gonna find a couple of weeks ago we had gone to um, like a citywide um, garage sale that was happening in like a town over and whenever we pulled, whenever we got there, again, you know, it was late in the day. And the lady was like, oh, those boxes by the road, those are free. You can go through those if you want. Okay. So we start digging through them. And I'm going to put this one honorable mention because it's already sold. However, we did pick up several items that we have listed in our store that we are expected to make quite a bit on those pieces. Just because the people having this garage sale didn't realize the historical value that they had okay so that's a very important so don't ever pass up um, free boxes that you see um, after a garage sale always always take the time just to at least look anyway okay so back back to um, my little story my husband was looking he picked up this empty matchbox let me say that again an empty matchbox he was like hey this is kind of cool okay so we get home and he goes you know what I think I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna list it and we'll see what happens he was offered $10 for an empty matchbook. Empty matchbook for 10 bucks. <laughs> so he saved that from the trash and it's just dollar bills going into the bank account, which is all good, all good. Anyway, that is, um, that is it for the um, little honorable mention. Now, for this week. This week's haul was huge and I'll have to do um, another video another time on that because it's just enormous it's just too much and I probably won't even get to it I'll probably just let you guys know what sells from this batch because it was just crazy anyway so we went to this estate sale and um, while I'm in this estate sale my husband's like hey go downstairs they have um, all kinds of um, plush animals and they have some uh, some my little ponies well of course coming off of that sale of that one i'm like oh my gosh you know i'm running downstairs well while i'm running downstairs of this estate sale i had already gone through the whole house already gone through the whole house and really didn't i mean there was a couple little things that i picked up but nothing you know nothing that really you know stands out to me there was some good you know good picks it's gonna make me some money but not anything you know fantastic well speaking too soon because my husband upstairs he is going methodically 
And that's why I think it's so much better to have two people <laughs> looking than just one because whatever I miss, he picks up on and whatever he misses, I pick up on. So anyway, he's looking and he spotted, you guys, he spotted a Hummel. Yes, in the box, still in plastic, with all original paperwork, everything is, I mean, it looks like it's just brand spanking new, like they just got delivered to this person's house. Amazing, so incredible. He didn't even bat an eye, it had a $15 tag on it. We scooped it up, paid the lady, and got out of there. This is what that Hummel is listing for right now. Um, they have sold for this, and it is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy. This to the to date, I think that is probably our coolest and best um, score that we've ever had um, doing any kind of picking. So I'm um, up well apart from the uh, from the old hickory chairs, but those were like a bigger item. Them talking about something that's you know that you can hold. <laughs> <laughs> it was just amazing. It was really, really cool. And of course, you hear about Hummels all the time and that they sell for all this money. And so, um, anyway, I was just shocked because I thought, there's no way. I mean, this estate sale had been open by the time we got there. Um, it had been open for like two hours. There's no way that anything, you know, super uber good is going to be, you know, left. It was. Now, here is the trick. He went through and he looked under all of the tables. You see, they had stuff up above, and that's where I basically looked. But he looked underneath the tables, and tucked underneath one of those tables was that Hummel in the box. So anyway, so that ended up being a pretty good um, a haul for our garage sale day. And um, anyway, hopefully soon I'll be having um, more videos that talk that I'll be able to kind of go through and talk to you about while we're selling and while we're picking and how we do all that. Guys, thank you for watching and spending your time with me today. And I do hope that I get uh, this uploaded um, this Sunday night so that you can enjoy it uh, for your week. Please like and subscribe and leave me a comment. I love reading those. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.